During my time on YouTube, I've seen your fair share of bad creators. However, usually when I see a bad creator, I think one thing. Wow, this guy sucks. And then I usually move on with my day. There's not really anything else to talk about. It's just someone isn't really good at making content. However, somehow they're getting hundreds of thousands, sometimes even millions of views. And it's just one of those oddities on YouTube that you'll never really fully understand. Now, usually you don't talk about bad creators because that's kind of what they want. It helps bring more attention to their channel and in turn gets them more views. However, today I am breaking this unwritten rule simply for the fact that this creator that I have found is so unbelievably awful and is doing so many things wrong. I just have to talk about it. So in this video, I'm going to be cooking Kabi. Mike check. Before I start, I know the guy's name is probably pronounced Kobe, but I'm not calling this guy Kobe, okay? This guy is not Kobe. Kobe is probably the best example of a YouTuber who does content specifically and solely for monetary gain. No personal enjoyment, no creativity, simply making as much money as possible and doing it in any way possible, no matter how morally questionable it can be. Now, Kabi isn't the first person I've ever seen to use this kind of suggestive title and thumbnail combo strategy on YouTube to get as many views as possible, clickbaiting some favorite characters of the youth. But what I find weird, first of all, is the usage of an actual person Afmao, I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name. She's an actual YouTube creator. This isn't just some character. This is a real person. And they're being put in, in my opinion, kind of provocative positions, especially in the thumbnails. This might be a violation of YouTube guidelines. If you look up the policies for thumbnails, you can see here that one of the rules is imagery that depicts unwanted sexualization. If Akhmal felt the need, she could probably get this guy's channel completely terminated off of YouTube because I found around a dozen examples of this rule being broken on his channel alone using her likeness. Not only that, but there's a chance that this channel is violating YouTube's child safety policies. If you look at their policies for child safety, you can see there's a rule on misleading family content. I mean, granted, the content itself isn't that harmful, in my opinion. It's obviously just brain rot content made for children. However, it's the clickbaiting of another person that, in my opinion, separates this guy from the rest of the weird people that do the same content as him. Now, not only is Kabi potentially violating several YouTube guidelines, this guy Kabi has some interesting opinions and says many interesting things that I would like to highlight here today just to show what type of person this guy is and the type of people behind a lot of these provocative channels. I'd kill to protect my family and loved ones. I'm a true warrior. Your hair is probably pink and you are probably gay. <laughs> A true warrior right here, and it's just a picture of this channel. Of course, this guy's one of those stigma, we're stuck in the matrix people. He's one of those people that likes Andrew Tate. I mean, what is there not to love? I loved when Andrew Tate said, So I messaged her, she's like, I'm only 16. I was like, give a fuck. Know about me. I'm 21, I don't care. This is my society, and they're coming along telling me they're going to blow this up and take this away from me. No, I want a virgin wife at 16 who's going to obey me. That's yeah. what I want. So Vivian's been with me six years, six years, six years. So he's been with Vivian for six years, right? Because Vivian's younger. Melissa's like 28, Vivian's like 21. Vivian's 21. And at this point, he's had her, he's been a girlfriend for six years. It means that they met when she was 15 years old. I'd rather burn in hell than become a slave for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's it's still funny to me. It's still funny. Now, of course, after this guy got called out and started getting shit on by everybody under the sun, he immediately pulled the irony card and just started tweeting a bunch of nonsense for impressions. This is just him trying to get money from Twitter Blue. For those of you who don't know, if you have Twitter Blue and you get a lot of views on the tweet, you can actually get some money from it. However, from my research, it doesn't look like this guy is going to be making much off of this. But I think that's just another example of this guy having zero respect for himself and just trying to get as much money as he can off of the internet. So I was gonna end this video by dogging on this guy and everything he's said and done and everything that I've mentioned in this video, but I couldn't exactly bring myself to do that this time, simply due to the fact that he recently posted this tweet where he says that he dropped out of school. I read this and just felt bad for him more than anything. I think it's okay to be semi-delusional with what you can do because that can lead to success, but I think what this guy is doing is downright self-destructive for him and his loved ones. And I just want to tell him because I know he's watching this video. If you're going to do YouTube, bro, I suggest that you actually take a more creative approach. Instead of just putting out this slop content that takes zero effort whatsoever, maybe you should try to actually put some effort into it and maybe make it actually entertaining and bearable for kids that are over the age of five years old. Because let's be honest, this guy's career is not going to have a lot of longevity. I don't think people are going to be watching Skibbity Toilet themes to Minecraft videos in five years time, but that's just me. At the same time, I do think this guy needs to be reprimanded for the things he's done and the things that I've mentioned in this video, but at the same time, I still do feel bad for him just because of the amount of delusion that this guy has gone into. Like I said, I think it's okay to be somewhat delusional, but he has gone full-blown schizophrenic when it comes to this shit. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I being too nice here, or... Should this guy just get completely obliterated? You guys let me know. But yeah, it's getting late. I'm gonna go to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but it's honestly not that different. I've done this type of content before. If you've been a long time viewer, you know that. But yeah, thank you for watching.